Crashy the cold front arriving today, and we have an annular eclipse tomorrow. Who might be dealing with clouds? Let's talk about in this Friday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, it is Friday the 13th, October 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers, Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It may be Friday the 13th, but we're not going to be dealing with any of that nonsense in the weather department over the next five days across Texas. Hardly a chance of rain with fall-like temperatures back in the state. At least for all of us by tonight and to tomorrow onward, but uh, until then, Crashy the Cold Front is still going to be bisecting the state, meaning some of y'all are going to get darn hot today, and I don't like it. But our main weather attraction has nothing to do with precipitation, but does have something to do with the annular eclipse tomorrow. That means, alas, yes... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what effect this has on our temperatures late tomorrow morning, early tomorrow afternoon, since loss of sun equals less solar radiation, meaning it might actually get cooler for a while. That would be interesting to see, and we will, because that's what weather stations are there to observe. Anyway, here you go. Here's the latest on that. The timing elements, the path going from portions of the Permian Basin through the Concho Valley Hill Country, Coastal Bend, though... Either side of this will have some obscuration, obscuration. Uh, the sun will be blotted out. Okay, there we go. There's my less descriptive terminology for the day. But the real question is, are we going to have a cloud cover to deal with? Well, as we head through today, not really. No, you can see the front's progress by that linear segment there. Now, as we get into tonight, you can see we do have clouds develop across the Edwards Plateau, the Panhandle, parts of West Texas. Late tomorrow morning, scattered clouds, West Texas and into the Edwards Plateau, maybe South Central Texas in the Coastal Bend. Notice that it's more spotty down there. So, Concho Valley, you're looking good. Edwards Plateau, we may have some issues with cloud cover, may have some issues with cloud cover in the Coastal Bend, but it shouldn't be a complete washout. We're going to have to see how quickly those clouds clouds across far west, or excuse me, West Texas die off. But it looks like your best bet to see this thing tomorrow, Permian Basin, Concho Valley, maybe the Coastal Bend. Otherwise, you could see maybe an isolated shower or two. Most activity stays in Mexico. We're not expecting any if... I mean, it's not going to rain the next five days in Texas in terms of beneficial rain. Next chance of rain, Wednesday... Thursday, Friday, maybe, if we get lucky. Fire weather conditions from the Texas A&M Forest Service. Here's your wildfire danger the next several days. Generally speaking, moderate to high across the state. Some pockets of low, but that mostly goes away by Sunday. Temperatures over the next five days. Well, here's today's high temperature forecast. You can see the front across the southeastern half of Texas will have to move through later today, which means it's still going to be hot today, especially down into deep south Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, where we could approach 100 degrees. Otherwise, lower to mid-90s deep south Texas, down towards San Antonio and Austin, 92 there, 86 to around 90 in Houston. But again, quicker this front moves, quicker your high temperatures will be, and then temperatures will fall through the remainder of the day into tonight. And then by tomorrow, well, you can see, here we go. Temperatures statewide, 60s in the Panhandle and the Arklatex, 70s down to Interstate 10, 80s, mostly south of Interstate 10, though Southeast Texas stays in the 70s, so that's gonna be pretty darn nice on Saturday. Sunday, temperatures, same story. Monday, a little warmer. Arklatex, you have some cold air damming coming off the higher terrain of Arkansas. Uh, 62 Monday for a high in Texarkana, otherwise 60s Northeast Texas, 70s to low 80s across the remainder of the state, mid 80s across far west Texas, the Borderland, down to Big Ben, and down the Rio Grande Valley. We start warming back up on Tuesday as we see more 80s return to the state of Texas ahead of what could be our next storm system as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. But again, if you have a chance, I hope you do, enjoy tomorrow's annular eclipse. The big show, the total eclipse, will be in April next year. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be a show, let me tell you. I'm being forced to go out and enjoy it myself. I was like... Just going to stay in the office here, cover anything that might happen. Nope, I was overruled. I am going to be 
west of San Antonio, it looks like. And yeah, I already booked a hotel. And yeah, I'm probably going to be spending 12 hours on Interstate 10 with the rest of y'all. Son! Hopefully! Okay, that's it for your Texas Weather Roundup on this Friday. Well, the next Texas Weather Roundup by Monday. That'll be the 16th of October. See y'all then. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the eclipse and God bless.